welcome to another episode of Living Room Wisdom, where your story is your glory. I am Petrina Wisdom, author, speaker, and movement leader, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing this beautiful woman, Iris, from the Center of Empowerment. She's a speaker, she's an author, she's a mom, she's a complete badass, and I'm very <laughs> excited because I actually get to meet her for the very first time uh, yeah. in person yeah. today. We've been connected for quite some time. We were connected through a friend, yes. I believe, in regard to the retreat. Yes, yeah, it's my Pure yes. Abundance mm -hmm, retreat. Mm -hmm. And so, like many of us these days, we've gotten to know each other and build a relationship through text and social yes, media. Yes, yes. And I see all the incredible things that she's working on. So I would like for you to share, in your own words, a little bit about who you are and what your, your contribution in the world is. Okay, who am I? Who am I? That's a very good question. It's evolved over the years. Yes. But in terms of the contributions, um, my company is Center of, Empower Center of Empowerment, I N Power, M E A N T, Purpose, okay. Inner mm -hmm. Power Purpose. And then also Iris Inspires. Um, mm -hmm. But who am I? I am the very essence mm -hmm. of God in the earth. Nice. I am appreciative. Mm -hmm. I am appreciation, mm -hmm. um, and I am unapologetically who I am. Yes, that's my word, unapologetically, <laughs> yes. yes. I think that's why we connected. Yes. We have that same spirit, mm -hmm. right? That mm -hmm. same permission mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. all of who we are, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And not dim our light for anybody. For anybody for I love answers. that. Sometimes, of course, in this journey, mm -hmm. on this journey, what mm -hmm. happens is we do dim our light mm. because of... Um, <clears throat> social norms, mm -hmm. the expectations, mm -hmm. um, all of the different roles that we carry. Yes. Um, and in that process and in, journey, in that journey, sometimes we can lose our way in mm -hmm. the sense of who we are. Yes. And so um, I have found at this stage in my life um, an ever-evolving appreciation for my journey. Okay. And sometimes... Um, the disappointments, mm -hmm. distractions, mm -hmm. uh, trauma, yes. uh, expectations that don't come to pass yeah. um, can weigh us down. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been through a lot. The world has been through a lot. True. Um, our communities have been through a lot. Mm -hmm. And that can get heavy. Mm -hmm. But learning how to really just be present in the moment with our breath. Mm -hmm. I am the breath of God. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I can't say that and don't get a chill. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because we are the vessel mm -hmm. that God, spirit, universe is working through mm -hmm. to bring forth that light mm -hmm. and also to be able to touch and help heal and transform other people's mm -hmm. lives, mm -hmm. whether it's through something that we're actually doing or the example that we are being mm -hmm. for other people. Mm -hmm we inspire and a lot of it is through our challenges and through our journeys that we're able to inspire and uplift others. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to hear about, for, I don't know a whole, whole lot about mm -hmm. your story, mm -hmm. but I know that no one who's doing the type of work that you're doing in the world is doing it without some struggle and without some challenge and without a story. So I would love for you to share as much or as little of that story that those experiences that kind of made you who you are are today mm -hmm. with the audience mm -hmm. well uh, let me say this from a from a, as early of an age as I can remember I've always had the desire mm -hmm. to be um, an inspiration and I have always mm -hmm. been some uh, an inspiration to my community sure. um, people that are connected to me mm -hmm. I always knew I was a healer yeah I always knew that I thought it was going to manifest as a doctor okay Okay, okay, as a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. um, what I did not know mm -hmm. is that I am a doctor. I am yes. a physician, but not in the traditional sense mm -hmm. of the word. So Center of Empowerment is my nonprofit organization. Okay. Center of Inner Power Purpose. It's a, a place where we bridge the gap mm -hmm. um, and bring hope to families that are in transition. Mm -hmm. um, and so transition may look like uh, re-entering the workforce, sure. families reuniting. Mm -hmm. um, it may look like working mm -hmm. and don't having a roof over your head mm -hmm. and house that's what mm -hmm. we that's what we call it today yeah um but bigger than that what um i have discovered that there is a root cause uh in my journey there's been a root cause of all of 
my blocks, mm -hmm. my hindrances, yes. um, my disappointments, my expectations, um, uh, what has been perceived as failures. Mm. Um, there, the root cause is some form of fear. Mm. And so what mm -hmm. I have learned through, um, I returned back to get my um, bachelor's degree after 35 years. Oh, wow. Of telling everybody I already had graduated. <gasps> what? Oh my god. So no one knew yes. that I didn't actually have my bachelor's yes. degree. I had one class uh. and didn't do it. I was like, I'm not going back to do no one class. They've got to be <laughs> out of their mind if they really think you I'm You were one class shy of getting it. Uh, but I was done. Okay. Whereas yeah. I was concerned, I had it. I was yeah. done. Yeah. But I recognized and I realized mm. that I wanted that was unfinished business. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And so, and I wanted my son to see mm -hmm. that no matter what is going on in your life, that you can do it. Yes. So working full time, full time mom, wife, and was running my business, mm -hmm. Iris Inspires, and still running my business, which is the coaching mm -hmm. seminars, workshops, and things of that nature. Doing all of that, mm -hmm. um, I went back to school. Wow. Full time. Yeah. And and completed it in semester, and I had a dream to speak, I, it was at Cal State University, Long Beach. Okay. And I remember always thinking that I would speak in that, I wanted to speak in that pyramid. Okay, and I know that it happened. I think when did it, it happen? It happened when I graduated. <laughs> I was one of okay. the speakers at the graduation. Yes. I didn't see it happening as That's like awesome. that, but over 5,000 yeah. people in that stadium mm -hmm. and I spoke. Yeah. And, and when it hit me, oh my gosh, this was something that I dreamed mm -hmm. of doing. So mm -hmm. that manifested. So that was you my, had to go back and get your your pearls, if you will, and, right? You had to go back and close the door to some unfinished business. Close that chat. Yes, how we do anything is how we do everything, everything yes. right? So it's like you had to go recapture that part of yourself, mm -hmm. that unfinished business, mm -hmm. whatever the block was, mm -hmm. whether it was fear. I, I mean, at that point, I'll, I'll ask. I'm not going to assume what was the block, other than you just being done. I'm like, I'm done. How do you say I'm done with one class left? At that time. Thinking back at it, <laughs> I was done. No, but no, thinking back right. at it. Um, there had to have been a, was, a trigger, I, something. This, that caused me to say that I was yes. done. I was making money. I was ah, already making money. Oh. I was one of the, one of the talents and gifts that I, I've uh -huh. always been able to generate money. So mm. I didn't see a need. Mm -hmm. You didn't see the value. Mm -hmm. At that finishing. point, I didn't need it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, was, I had, you know, back then, you know, $80,000, $100,000 a year was sure. good money. Right. You know, I guess it's good money still today. But the point being, sure. I, I was that was the kind of money I was making right. at that time. Mm -hmm. And so then, what made you go back? I wanted to do it complete. I wanted to just bring completion. And I wanted my son to see. Okay, so that the example that was what that, was driving yes, you. I wanted okay. Him to see that it's possible. Okay. And I wanted to be a complete example of the, of the teachings. Mm -hmm. You know, of completing what mm -hmm. you start. Yeah. And I um, love that. Yeah, that was. That was why I went back and completed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what would you say were, were the biggest gifts or are the biggest gifts that you've experienced or recognized within yourself since going back and picking up those jewels? Resiliency. Resilience. Uh, I'm resilient. Um, mm -hmm. I'm unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm clear that I'm a manifester. Okay. We all are. Yes. We all manifest whether we are conscious of it or not. Mm -hmm. But I'm clear is what I'm clear about today is mm -hmm. once the mind, the mindset mm -hmm. has shifted and you're clear about what it is you want to see come yes. to pass, yeah. You can do it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I believe that. I believe we can put anything put our put our we can achieve anything we put our mind to. Mm -hmm. But we have to want it bad enough, mm -hmm. right? And we have to be focused mm -hmm. and we have to have some greater reason, I think, that's driving us to go accomplish it. Mm -hmm. So you have one child mm -hmm. and that's one of the biggest reasons we have to do many things in our lives, right? Like you said, you wanted to be an example to your mm -hmm. child, mm -hmm. which is part of the reason that you went back to school. So what I wanna know is what's been one of your greatest lessons from your child? What have you learned from your child? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely came for me, but no, <laughs> right. that's number one. He, t mm -hmm. he reminds me consistently um, of what I say. Yes. Uh-huh. Holds you accountable, He holds huh? me accountable. He will call me on the carpet. I may not yes. like it. Right. But mama, didn't you say? Mm-hmm. Breathe. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a deep breath. 
Yes. You know, those kinds of Kids things. Kids have a way of doing they, that. He reminds me. And um, the other thing, he reminds me of myself at his age. And right. because of that, this is a, a life lesson. Many times as parents, mm. we forget mm. and we have expectations on our children. Mm. But when we can stop and remember our feelings at that time, mm -hmm and what the world and what it felt like being in the 10th grade, the 11th grade and, and peer pressure mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah. When we can do that, our conversation shifts with totally. our children. That empathy, yeah, not feeling like, well, I'm the adult. And I think it's actually a new generation of parenting as well. Like these, these kids, we call them kids, you know, they're not all kids, but this generation of young, young person mm -hmm is totally like light years different than than us oh. and and the way that we grew up and the environment and society and just everything so it's like we have to be this whole new version of parent mm -hmm. showing up for our children and our parents i don't know about you but my mom looks at me like oh you know that's not how i you know they always have something to say right mm -hmm. um we grew up in the generation where you say something sly and somebody takes off a shoe and like, you know, like <laughs> I, Jimmy's okay. at it. Next thing you know, you got a shoe in your mouth, mm -hmm. but it's just a different time. Mm -hmm. So how have you navigated the change in the culture around parenting while also creating your business and doing all of these other things? Like, how has that strengthened you? What have you learned? You know, you mentioned your mother, and I have to mm -hmm. say the thing that strengthened me is the spirit of my mother. My mother mm. um, uh, transitioned from breast cancer, mm. metastasized breast cancer in 2009. Mm. And um, my grandmother uh, in 2015, um, she was 89. Oh, wow. 89 almost, yeah, she didn't quite make 90, 89 years old. Um, and I have to say those were the mm. two strongest women that I um, had in my life yeah. that taught me um, motherhood. Yes. Taught me womanhood. Mm -hmm. Taught me how to tap into my spirit. Taught mm -hmm. me how to listen to your children. Mm -hmm. Although they were strong, don't right. get it, don't get it twisted. There was, a, <laughs> they would, you know. But I, w I have to say that um, it was my mother in particular. Um, before she left, she mm -hmm. said I was at the time I would spank my the bottom of my son's mm -hmm. foot when he mm -hmm. would do something. I had mm -hmm. this little heat, and she looked at me one day and said. You're gonna have to find another way to discipline that uh -huh. to work, and I was shocked. Ah, uh huh. Um, yes. And so that, you know, caused me to shift mm -hmm. because she, laying on her sick bed, said, mm -hmm. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. "That's not. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to do that differently." Mm -hmm. um, so that is one of those. Are, uh, uh, um, I would have to say the women before me, mm -hmm. the two strongest women before my mother and my grandmother, has what has helped me with my parenting. I think even as recent as today, my, my son is, you know, people say your children are not your friends. Right. Ah, I don't mm -hmm. know about that. Mm -hmm. um, my child is my friend. I'm his yes. mother, don't get it twisted. Right, I'm his there's mother. boundaries there's, and respect. Yeah, definitely, and, definite standards yes. that, that are established, mm -hmm. but um, he is my friend and I respect mm -hmm. him as a human being. There you go. Right, that it part. has a distinct purpose and reason for being here on the earth yeah he came through me as a gift yes just for me to guide mm -hmm. and, and I love listen. that you use that word guide mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I believe that we're in our children's lives to be a guide as well mm -hmm. not to be their controller not mm -hmm. to dictate you know who they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to do but to help them learn how to problem solve and help them discover and keep them safe in the process. Mm -hmm. And it's not always yeah. easy. No. Because the no, old no, way no. of how we, who we are, yes. you know, I dare you, what, I need right. you, I don't have that, no, this, what did I, you know, yes. that comes up. That definitely yes. comes up. So. And culturally too. And culturally, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Exactly. Yes. So before we, you know, kind of wrap this up, I really want to know, I know you've been undergoing, and I've been watching from afar, so I don't know all the details, but I know you've had a lot of like self-transformation mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's not just physical transformation, mm -hmm. right? That mm -hmm. came from someplace else. Mm -hmm. I'd love for you to share a little bit about this transformation that you've been undergoing and <laughs> who you're becoming. Love that. Um, so 
The last couple of years, um, I had an injury mm. that took me to the point of, I'm 58, I made 58 this year, oh, and there was a time I wasn't comfortable with disclosing that, <laughs> that age, we don't yeah. talk about our age, young you know, women, but I um, made 58 this year, and I made it um, with the, I, I had made up my mind that I, I did not want to be sick, my mother mm. died with cancer, I didn't want to be overweight, mm -hmm. I wanted to be comfortable. Um, and I was tired. I was tired of being tired. Okay. Although I was on assignment, yes, doing living, doing and living my purpose, mm -hmm. um, in a challenging relationship at the time. Mm. Um, it wasn't always a challenging relationship, but it, things turned. Yes, um, and mm -hmm. I believe they turned because there was a. We both had to come to terms with who we were authentically. Yes. Um, and so I was just ready for change. Mm. I, I was tired of talking about it. Mm -hmm. I was tired of, just tired of tired. So in October of 2020, um, I was introduced to a young lady named uh, Stormy. Mm -hmm. Some of you may have heard about her. And I purchased some products. Okay. Um, and I said, oh, okay, you know how we do. We, I'll do it at the beginning of the year. The beginning of the year rolled around. I still really hadn't committed. I tried a couple, and I didn't commit. But, but February, March, something happened. I had a, well, I don't know what happened. Uh, COVID hit. COVID no. happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, that'll COVID, be the catalyst. Okay. That was the COVID catalyst hit. of a lot. A yes. lot of things. And yes. so what it called forth, I was on a um, transformation journey in terms of um, how and where do I see myself going from mm -hmm. that point forward? And, um, it, and it began from there. Mm -hmm. It started from the inside. Acceptance yes. of me. That's where yes. the agent yeah. of the, yeah, acceptance I of who that. I am. Yes. Um, and everything changed. Financially, mm -hmm. things changed. Mm -hmm. um, just everything changed. Mm -hmm. And I lost... I went from 199. I didn't realize how big I was, so I saw pictures you know, oh, on wow. Facebook and Instagram. They yes. bring up new pictures, yeah. and I didn't realize yeah. how big. I don't know if it is that we stay in our clothes and mm -hmm. the clothes stretch, mm -hmm. and so that's how we're able to get in them, mm -hmm. and we don't realize that, mm -hmm. that we we big. Yeah. So I don't know if that's it. or the distribution of the weight, or the distribution something like of that. The weight. Yeah, yeah, because I am yeah. kind of maybe that could be it. Because I, I do I, that. I see some pictures, some memories come up on like Facebook and oh, stuff, and I'll be like, ooh, it was a little. What was going? I'm well, bloated the there. Child. I saw one. I was like, good <laughs> gooly goo goo. Not only that, <laughs> not only that, I saw another one when, when I was walking with the cane. Yes. And I was like, my God, if I didn't know any better, who was that old lady? And I did not want my child to be embarrassed of his mama coming up to the school right. with a cane, mm -hmm. bent over, barely able to walk. Yeah. No, that, you know, no. Yeah. No, I can't live like that. So. Started aging backwards. I started, okay. <laughs> not, so I went from 199 to 165. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything definitely starts within us. Mm -hmm. And I know that a lot of people want the end product, but without going through the process. You have to go through so, the process. There's yeah. no easy, there's no easy. There's no easy button. I tell people every, um, all the time, they look at me, they're, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I tell them, mm -hmm. I said, you have, but you have to make a, mm -hmm. if this is, you have to make a decision. Do you want this or do mm -hmm. you want that? Do you want to feel better? Mm -hmm. you, or do you not want to feel better? Mm -hmm. If you're spending five dollars a day on ten dollars a day on Starbucks, yes. You mm -hmm. total what that cost. Put that money toward some products, yeah. some things that can help you mm -hmm. feel better. If you want to get off, mm -hmm. I got up my blood pressure. Nice. Is now it will it would average anywhere from one sixty to one twenty. Mm. The bottom what mm -hmm. my bottom number. Okay. That's not good yeah. at all, people. Yeah. Now, um, when I went to the doctor for the last couple of times, 126 over 80, mm -hmm. both times I said, um, you're going to have to do that. I was shocked. I said, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? It worked. It worked. You changed this. Changed this. You changed your habits. This. And then that manifested in a change, change of your physical body. Mood got to moving. Yeah. Yes. And, and um, how has that affected your the people around you? So your family, your child, your you know, the people that are close to you, um, because I know that there is a shift. Mm -hmm. Anytime we change, mm -hmm. other people either need to change or we need to change the people. Mm -hmm. So how has that affected your your life, your, your quality of life? Oh, tremendously. Mm -hmm. My quality of life um, is definitely um, 
definitely change and, mm. and people ask it like I said they my, my, including my family how are you doing it yes um, how are you maintaining your lifestyle mm -hmm. I was just blessed to, to finally purchase another car yeah. how, how are you able to do that how are you how yes. are you doing it yes. I said what I know for sure is when um, I read a book many years ago do what you love and the money will follow mm -hmm. I would say that stuff I've taught that stuff yeah. And I'm now it's it now you're now. living it. You're embodying it. I am it. embodying it. Yes. It's in my DNA. Mm -hmm. I breathe it. Now is it always is it always comfortable? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Right. Because I want to go back to what's comfortable. So right. body, the way you know, it's it's an easy yeah. way of being. Mm -hmm. But um, I was sharing with someone. I would be have I would have to be out of my mind mm -hmm. at this stage mm -hmm. to not trust the God in me. Yeah. The Holy Spirit in me that's yes. been guiding and keeping me thus far. I would have to be yeah, out, love of it. out of my mind. Out of my mind. Yeah, and, so. and once you stretch, once you stretch yourself, once you have experienced something else and you felt what it looks, you know, what it feels like to be healthy or mm -hmm. you've mm -hmm. felt, you know, tasted the good life or whatever it is, whether it's lifestyle, whether it's relationship, mm -hmm. any of it, it's very hard to go back. And why would you want to? So. And even when you think about yeah. it and, and, and tease yourself with the with the um, yeah. thought of, well, maybe, mm -hmm. um, no. Mm -hmm. But that chapter's finished. It's finished. It's gone. It's what, done. You cannot, that's the past. Yes. You cannot relive the past. And you, and why would we want why to when there's we all to? this road ahead to Absolutely. create so many more beautiful things? Absolutely. Well, I'm excited to see what else you create and to continue to watch your journey. And I appreciate you being here with us. I appreciate you sharing. I know that something you said has resonated with someone out there maybe you've inspired someone to start their health journey right well if so please tell me. yeah <laughs> psychologist <laughs> says, yeah so make sure that you mm -hmm. follow iris online on all the social media ch media channels and of course we'll have her information posted mm -hmm. um and with that said uh hopefully you got a lot of value out of this episode um, my intention really is to spotlight inspiring women and really find the gifts and the different challenges and the traumas that we that we all experience. But I, I truly believe there's always a gift and that we, we come out on the other side of these things better, mm -hmm. as you have. Mm -hmm. So you. subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely tune in weekly. We, we, we upload videos every single week of new inspiring stories. And we'll see you next time on Living Room Wisdom. Mm -hmm.